Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have a fun shape card to share with you today. Hey everybody, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Gnome Dye Spooky Add-ons, their Gnome Dye Sign Add-ons, their Spooky Season Stamp Set and Outline Dies. I'm using the Candy Corn for Sale Stamp Set and the Snow Globe Die. And I did put these together on the Gnome Dye Spooky Add-ons assembly video, so check that out. So first I'm starting out with the um, Jada Blossom's snow globe die and I cut that out of white paper tray and cardstock and I'm just going to score a line at the top just to give me a little spot to bend down and that will make my shape card. So there we are, you know, scoring it with my Teflon bone folder using my Martha Stewart scoreboard working on my Stampin' Up pad. That's paper tray and white cardstock. So now I'm going to add in some ATG tape and there we go, just sort of, you know, up to that fold line. And I will add a little bit of Barely Art glue around the core edges. And then I will stick down my next layer that I cut out of that same uh, snow globe die from Jada Blossom. There we go. So now that is the base of my shape card. So really easy, just using my Teflon bone folder to make sure it is stuck down well. And there you have it. So I'm also using the Monster Madness, Madness six inch pad from Doodlebug. So I'm going to take this Distress Oxide Ink and Black Soot and I'm going to ink blend around the edge of this snow globe die. So I'm just, you know, inking around the edge of it. There we go. And then I cut this base from that Monster Madness six inch pad from Doodlebug and I'm going to ink around that as well. It's kind of a nice purple pattern. Then this pattern is also from the six inch Doodlebug um, Monster Madness pad. And I'm just going to ink around the edge of that. That's that big circle die that's in these snow globe dies. So now I'm going to stick this down with some Barely Art glue, trying to line it up. I believe I kind of make a mistake here, but you know, I leave my mistakes in the video just because, you know, no one's perfect. So I'm just trying to get that lined up and I don't do a great job. So I do quickly peel it up here. I realize, oops, I got to do that again, but that's okay. I'll add a little bit more glue and I'll get that shimmied into place. You'll see to my left or to my right, there is a, you know, a little circle edged cut out there. That was cut from the 12 inch um, paper line of Monster Madness, the opposite side of the stars. It's just kind of like a, you know, a starred aqua background. And I cut that for my, the edge of my snow globe, just, you know, so there's some contrast there and I will weight it down. Now I will stick down my purple base. I love doodlebug, you know, paper. I just think it's super cute. There we go. So I will, you know, cover that in some Barely Art glue, and then I will weight that down. So all my die cutting today was done with my uh, mini Empress from Anna Griffin, which I'm loving. Okay, so I will weight that down. So now I'm pulling out my black so so Distress Oxide ink, and I'm just going to ink around the edge of that little circle piece, just so you know it goes with everything else I have going on. And it kind of, you know, helps with definition. And then I will stick down my little snow globe on my snow globe shape card. So really easy stuff. Like I said, barely art glue. And I will stick it in place. There. And I will weight it down. So now I have a little ghost balloon. Now this is from that spooky add-ons, the Gnome Dye Spooky add-ons for Jada Blossom, cut in American Crafts black cardstock and paper trank white. But I won't be using it as a balloon, I'm just using it as, as a little ghosty to pop out of that pumpkin. Remember, you can watch me put that pumpkin together on the Gnome Dye Spooky add-ons assembly video. Okay, so now these are from the um, Gnome, or not Gnome, Halloween Banner dies from Jada Blossom. And I cut it out of paper trank black cardstock for the base and paper drink white cardstock for the ghosts. And I'm just going to stick those down and then I will trim off that little piece that's holding them together because I'm not using it as a banner. I'm using them as more little ghosts for the card. I did cut this little leaf from the Gnome Dyes Fall Add-ons. That's to decorate my little pumpkin. And I'm going to run that same white pigment ink around the edges of the pumpkin just to make it pop a little bit. Um, just because it is kind of going on that dark background. And that is cut out of uh, Doodlebug's Dot Stripe and Paper Trank Dark Chocolate cardstock for the little stem. So there we go. Isn't that kind of fun? Now I'm going to trim off that little piece that's holding them together. There we go. And I am going to stamp Boo. Boo. 
And I will stamp that onto Paper Drank's Craft Card Stock in Versafine Claire Nocturne Ink. So that's a perfect little sentiment, I think. And that's on the little sign. Isn't that cute? So I will glue down the string. I cut that out of Paper Drank Black Card Stock just for a little bit of contrast. I'm looking for my reverse tweezers. There we go. And I will weight that down as well. So just a fast little sign with a sentiment, right? Kind of fun. So I do weight that down. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of ATG to the back of my pumpkin and align my ghost. And then I will find out where the little lid's going to go. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to his little hand there and I'm just going to line it up like I'd like. And I will weight that down with an acrylic block. And now since I'm set, I will go ahead and I will use Stampin' Up Dimensionals on the back just to have it popping up on my shaped background. So I'm just quickly adding this, you know, these Stampin' Up Dimensionals. They're kind of one of my favorites for card making. And I'll use my little scissors to, you know, trim some slivers, just so everything is nice and ev evenly um, popped up from my background, right? So I'm just peeling off all the release papers there, and then I will pop it down onto my card front. Like I said, this is a super easy card design. So I'm just adding that on and I will pop that up and there we go. Isn't that fun? Kind of fun, right? Now I'm going to add my little boo to the front of my card. And there we go. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto that string. And there you have it. So kind of fun, right? And I will clamp that down there. So now I am taking out my little vines. These were cut from the Gnome Dyes Fall Add-ons. The paper is from that, um, that Monster Madness six inch pad. Same as the leaf. Also from that Gnome Dyes Fall Add-ons. I'm just going to pop that up um, and I will put a little glue along the edge so it's kind of glued down on the top and then pops up on the end. And I will clamp that down with my reverse tweezers. And I'm going to add another little vine here just for, you know, some decoration. I think it adds a little something, right? I did um, already ink around that pumpkin and spiced marmalade distress ink that I, I did that on the Gnome Dyes Spooky Add-ons assembly video. Um, so it already has a little bit of definition, um, you know, on all the little patterns, which is fun. So now I'm popping up a sentiment from Spooky Season Stamps at that's on Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock versus Fine Claire Nocturne ink. And I cut that out with the matching outline dies. There we go. So now I'm pulling out Alta News Enamel Dots, Essential Black and White. I'm going to take the tiniest white one and pop it into place to make it look like a little nail head. And now we are done. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you are a follower, follower over at YouTube, Jada Blossom's YouTube site, and my YouTube site, Leanne K. Thanks, everyone. Bye.